talking to Mitch Calloway. And you are with Transgress Press? Transgress Press, that's right. And I see that you have two of these two publications you currently have? Yep. Letters from My Brothers, Transitional Wisdom and Retrospect. And these are, are what? Uh, we do uh, transgender nonfiction. And that is people talking about having yep. that transition from female to male. Yeah, so both of these, and actually our first three publications are about transgender men. Um, this book is transgender men writing letters to their younger selves or other younger men with advice and wisdom that they gained or they wish they had knew, known How when they started transitioning. Um, let's see, I believe this has been out since 2011. So this is the third edition. This one was published in 2012. It's called Hung Jury Testimonies of Genital Surgery by Transsexual Men. And uh, this is the first anthology of its kind. It's transgender men talking about their personal experiences with genital reconstructions. But that's uh, ever evolving as I understand it. That it's it is ever evolving. all the time. These surgeries are improving every year. Surgeons are practicing. Um, so part, part of the reason... Are there more people doing this type of work now? It used to be just a few, right? Yep. There were some kind of pioneering surgeons, I believe, in the 70s, and more and more surgeons every year go into practice doing genital reconstructions for trans men and trans women. Um, part of the reason this book was made to dispel some of the myths that the, the surgery, surgery hasn't improved, or nobody's doing it, or nobody wants it. So. Um, that's now, hung jury. How about this one you have coming out called Manning Up? So Manning Up, this is actually uh, my book co-edited with Xander Key. Uh, it's coming out in June. So this is an anthology of transgender men talking about their personal stories with their families, in relationships, with their children. Um, so the entire idea, actually, that kind of extends to all three of these anthologies is we have these narratives that we've inherited from media, from medicine, from law about transgender people. What did you think of the pregnant man? He handled the story. He decided to have the child because his wife put him. Yeah. And they really kept control of that story, which I thought was really great. Yeah, it was They got good. to tell it their way. Yeah. No, I, I totally support uh, Thomas Beatty and, and his choice to carry children. Um, and he created some pretty good, public, you know, uh, awareness that trans people. Who else besides Chaz Bono? Is there are there any other well-known trans men at the moment? Um, so people know Thomas Beatty, who had some children. Um, Chaz Bono. Are there, there any roles for trans men anywhere, or any MTV series where they've had trans trans men living with? It's a good question. There was actually. Um, a young trans actor named Tom Felon who played a trans role on ABC Family's The Fosters, which is a teen drama. Oh. So that was a nice uh, thing to see. And when will this new one, Manning Up, be out? So this is out in June um, of this year. And where can we find, where can you find these books? You can find them on transgresspress.org. And once it releases, we'll be selling it on Amazon.com as well and at the Philly Transgender Health Conference. And when is that this year? June 12th to 14th, That's Philadelphia. That's a remarkable thing. I was there a couple of years ago. Really great. great. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Um, okay, well, thank you very much, and good luck. You know, I certainly am going to buy some of your books and read and learn. I sounds think it's great. very well, very much needed. Thank you. Thank you.